Hello, I'm Paul Peterson. With more people than ever reaching 100 years of age, and scientists gaining an ever better understanding of extending healthy and productive human life, it is exciting to contemplate how we can improve our longevity. With so much research and information available to us today, separating the science fact from the science fiction can be a challenge in itself. Joining us today are award-winning filmmakers Paul Suchecki and Carolisa Pomerantz, whose documentary, Reverse Aging Now, offers comprehensive advice from some of America's foremost authorities on healthy aging and longevity. Please stay tuned for Aging in L.A. After remaining relatively constant for most of human history, the average number of years a person can expect to live has doubled in the past century, and the number of centenarians in the U.S. has increased by more than 500 percent in the past 30 years. Undoubtedly, health promotion and preventative medicine are key to our maintaining healthy and productive lives. But just how easy is it to find our way through all the health care advice there is out there uh, these days? Joining us to discuss their documentary, Reverse Aging Now, are Emmy Award winning Paul Suchecki and his filmmaking partner, Carolisa Pomerantz. Thank you both for joining me today. This is a treat for me. Paul, Reverse Aging Now, is it possible? It's possible if you make the distinction between chronological age and biological age. We can never change the actual number of years we've actually been on the planet. Oh, as I know to my <laughs> sorrow. <laughs> However, if you compare how your body performs with people of a similar age, mm -hmm. you can get a sense as to where you fit in biologically. And that can be done and has been demonstrated to have happened as well for people. Right, and, and Carolisa, it, you're not stuck with the condition you find yourself in. You can actually alter lifestyle choices and improve things for yourself. Absolutely. Well, tell me, tell me about what you learned specifically as you dealt with this subject. Well, it seems that uh, it's a very easy recipe. Just don't eat the wrong stuff and eat all right. the good stuff. and. You mean all that good advice our parents <laughs> gave us when we were little, it really works? Yeah, it's pretty simple, staying yeah. away from the fatty foods, the salts, mm -hmm. uh, deep fried foods, a lot of fats, and um, just eating a lot of fresh vegetables, right. fresh fruits. Anything that's alive and not processed pretty much is right. a, good, a good idea. But I don't want to minimize this. Paul, how long did you spend in putting reverse aging now together? Well, it, it took seven years. Basically what happened was I, I'd reached a point the, in my life where my father had died. I see. At the age of 44. Whoa, then, now that's early. And I was determined that it wouldn't happen to me. Mm -hmm. And I had met Carolisa not terribly long afterwards, was very impressed at how, well, she'd been taking care of herself, so mm -hmm. we embarked on this quest. So we went around the entire country talking with all the prominent anti-aging doctors in the field, mm -hmm. even went into alternative medicine, and finished on the island of Okinawa where you find the world's longest lived people. Wow, what a journey to go on. And, and isn't it funny how an idea sort of it takes on a life of its own? Uh, when, when you, there are a lot of different and conflicting uh, um, pieces of information out there. Did you have trouble sifting through the, the charlatans from the legitimate uh, folks? Well, we went to uh, an anti-aging convention in Las Vegas mm -hmm. and yes there were a lot of people there that claimed to have the secret of the fountain of youth. Well I, I see those claims all the time yeah. and yet there seems always to be a kernel of truth in there somewhere. Well it's your belief system if you can believe that and if it works mm -hmm. for you the mind is a very very powerful thing. If you think you're going to lose 10 pounds, you really concentrate and you focus and you commit to it. <laughs> it just might happen. And for these people, if that's what they believe in, they're going to try to pass that on to you. 
and uh, to help you find truth in their beliefs. So, well, I, I think I, 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 it has been my experience that there are some there are some myths about aging. Uh, uh, not everybody's going to be climbing mountains and going out ballroom dancing at night because there are impairments, uh, there are limitations to age. But that doesn't mean you still can't be healthy. Uh, what, did you, uh, what did you experience, Paul? Well, the biggest thing that people should do is <coughs> find out where you actually fit in the scale. Get, how, do, how do you go about that? Well, you get a sense as to where your biomarkers are. What's your blood pressure? What's your weight? We have a whole bunch of biomarkers in the DVD that people can look at. Mm -hmm. Your doctor can help immensely with that. Once you find out where you're starting from, even if you're impaired in terms of your movement, you can still get into a pool and do pool exercise. Right. We talk with a lot of people who did that as a way to relieve their stress and to get and to relax. Mm -hmm. So you find an exercise program that helps. You take a look at where your diet is today. You do everything Carol Lisa said about the diet, and then you go further. Look at your diet in terms of where you're lacking nutrients, mm -hmm. like supplements start to add those. And you're absolutely right about how do you evaluate whether something works or not. Mm -hmm. That's probably the toughest thing that we had to confront. And at this convention that Carolisa mentioned, we had people with rather outlandish claims. Oh, people sure. saying the magnetics <laughs> cure oh. osteoporosis. Yes, I, I, I've seen some of those. Carolisa, can you hold up the DVD? I want to make sure people know what, this is what we're talking about. This is uh, uh, really an extraordinary DVD set called Reverse Aging Now. And Paul, there's a website as well, correct? Absolutely. Uh, which is reverseagingnow.com. Remarkably creative. <laughs> Funny how that works. <laughs> yeah, isn't it great? But, um, but I, I know when I watched it, I, I was amazed. I kept coming back into the room and going, wait a minute, I've heard about HGH. And I've heard about these magical uh, claims of lowering cholesterol without <laughs> making a change in diet. I'm going, wait a second, this was really comprehensive information, Paul. Did you start out with a, st a storyline, or, or was this all discovery? Well, the first interview we had was with Dr. Roy Walford, mm -hmm. and I knew his daughter on a social basis. Mm -hmm. And she had just finished a book with her dad. Her father was a pathologist at UCLA, and they wanted to test it. And I was teaching studio production at Pasadena City College. They said, uh, can we come in and at least see what we look like on camera? Right. And the course of doing the interview with them, I found out that you can, in fact, turn your entire life around when it comes to biological age. Wow. And what Roy Walford did, which was extraordinary, was he was the biosphere doctor. The biosphere was that terrarium in the Arizona desert. Yes, indeed. And he put people on his method of anti-aging, which is a nutrient-dense, calorie restricted diet mm -hmm. and because they were physically active all the time trying to grow their own food in the biosphere people were there for two years by his measurements they age one year wow that's that's astonishing of course that has implications for whether it's space travel or how long we are going to live carolisa what about the difference the gender differences women and men i know sometimes there's a lot more pressure on women to conform to some healthy aging model. Well, I think women have other challenges they need to deal with that men actually don't need to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's true. So we, we, we have uh, other things we need to take into consideration. Mm -hmm. um, I keep a chart for myself, and when I go for my annual, um, I get the vitals from my blood work and I track it every year. And my whole mission is to keep those numbers the same. And if they start dipping, mm -hmm. blood pressure, your uh, triglycerides, right. um, your important numbers, blood pressure, um, you just want to keep maintaining those numbers because if they start dipping, that means your body is changing. We know it's going to change. Yes. But the whole thing is to pull it back, pull the reins, and say, you know what, I can slow this down, I can help out, jump in and do as much as I can to slow it down, and uh, you have to bring the numbers back up again, and I managed to do that somehow. Well, and, and, and it's even something that can be altered as fundamental as, say, bone density. Mm -hmm. This uh, The scourge of so many women of a certain age is bone density. Um, now, as a matter of fact, let's take a look at a clip from Paul and Carolisa's film which shows why seniors should work hard at staying fit. 